So my plan for the shaft is to just chop it off about one foot out here, which I've already done, actually. And then on the end of this thing, you'll notice there's a bushing with uh, just a threaded, threaded rod. And I figure I can work with that. If I can get this out and insert it into here, then it'll give me a pretty good watertight uh, seal. And this can just stick out the end of the boat. And then I'll go to the machine shop I have access to, and I will machine a piece that will take it from the threaded rod, probably about four inches out, to a quarter inch uh, shaft that the uh, propeller can screw it on, or it can uh, be attached to. So that's my plan, but for now I have to try and figure out how I can uh, get this press fit bushing out of here, but uh, that shouldn't be too hard. That wasn't too hard. All right, time to file the cable. This should be interesting. This should be a little bit easier. And there we have it. A nice square end to this cable. So, as you can see, it fits in there nicely. And uh, this should just go back together, like so. And uh, I'll screw that together and see if it runs. So, here it is, all put back together, and uh, this is pretty much how it's gonna go in the boat. I might take the gas tank off just so it can sit a little bit lower, but uh, let's go right out the back of the boat. And uh, yeah, seems to run pretty good. I'll just hook a servo up to here to control the throttle. But as you can see there, I mean, I haven't tuned the engine yet either, but. It should work all right, uh, yeah. I think this is about as far as I can go right now with this thing. I don't want to stick it in the boat in case plans change for some reason, but uh, there it is. Thanks for watching.